Good day, students. In the previous class, we talked about freedom. And we define freedom as the means of deliverance from slavery, oppression, colonial the, uh, oppression. Freedom means liberty, independence, self-determination. And we talk about different types of freedom. Here we measure political freedom, social freedom, economic freedom, freedom of association, freedom of speech, which we further explain in detail. Today, we are going back to freedom. Call to freedom. And we're using Deborah and Barack as a case study. We remember the case whereby God instructed Moses to deliver the children of Israel from oppression, which we explained vividly in last class. But today, we discover that Moses moved them to the Canaan land and they settled there. They were comfortably uh, enjoying themselves in the promised land. But along the line, they sinned against God by joining the country, which is the Canaanites, to worship their idol and they forgot about the God who brought them out of Egypt to Canaan land. And that brought the anger of God upon them. And God decided to punish them by raising their enemy, the Canaanites, against them. The Canaanites oppressed them for many years to the point that whenever they finish their problem, uh, farming, they plant their crops, and it is ready or about to harvest. The Canaanites will come around to harvest all their crops and beat them, carry them captive to their place. This continued for many years. But it got to a point the children of Israel started calling on God for mercy. And God decided to send Deborah and Barak. That brought the topic today. God sent Deborah and Barak when the children of Israel were in, in body, in oppression under the Canaanites. And you discover that these people you know, were oppressing them. But God instructed Deborah, who happened to be the prophetess, to tell Bar Barak that he should gather soldiers to fight against the Canaanites. But do you know what? By the time Deborah the prophet, prophetess delivered the message to Barak, Barak dis disagreed with that instruction, telling Deborah that if she would not go with her, with him, that he would not be able to carry out that instruction. Deborah decided to go with him with a condition that the victory will go to the women. Okay? By the time Deborah agreed to go with Barak, Barak being the chief army commander of Israel by then, gathered the soldiers and they met for the war. We discovered that when the war took off. They started pursuing the children of Canaanites, or children of Canaanites. And the captain of Canaanites is the man called Caesarea. Caesarea was the armed commander-in-chief 
the commander in chief of armed forces of, of Canaanites. Caesarea, when the war was very tough, left his ashes and ran away for his dear life, which Deborah and Barak pursued him to kill him. But fortunately, Caesarea ran to a, ma a woman called Jai, Jaile. This Jaile happened to be one of the Israel Israelites, but married to a Canaanite man. So the woman welcomed Caesarea, being the chief and commander of Canaanites. She welcomed him inside his room and giving him, he requested, Caesarea requested for cold water. But the woman decided to give, offer him a very cold milk. After taking the milk, Caesarea decided to sleep off. And the woman had to cover him with brackets. By the time Caesarea slept off, finally, the woman picked peck. You remember the peck that they used for a tent, ceremonial tent, with hammer, and went straight to his head and heated him. And the peck came out to the other side. And that was how Caesarea, the captain of Canaanite, died at that point. And but we discover that. That was how God gave the children of Israel victory through Deborah and Barak. Okay? And this will lead us to significant lessons. What are the lessons that we ought to or we're supposed to bring out or learn from this topic? Number one, we should not be afraid when God is telling us to do something. Whenever God gives instruction, is ready to back us up, to back the person up. That means when God call you, he will equip you. Number two, we should be obedient to God's instruction. You remember Deborah and Barak submitted to divine instruction, and that was what brought victory to the land of Israel from their oppression, or oppressors. Thank you. Number three, we should be patriotic. A Catholic citizen. That means we should be able to defend our country, fight for the freedom of our country. Wherever you find yourself, know that you are representing your country, you are representing your family, you are representing your religion, and you are representing God. Therefore, you should be able to defend your faith anywhere you find yourself. So we stop here today as we meet next class. And I'm giving you assignments to read about Deborah and Barak. Then give me three lessons, apart from the one I gave you on the board here, give me three lessons that you can bring out from this story of Barak and Deborah victory. Thank you.